Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Scorpio reading for today, February 25th to March 4th, okay? So thank you guys for your patience. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, wow, I just cut the deck and I got the Empress and Three of Swords. So someone could be either heartbroken over you or you're feeling heartbroken, okay? This is Divine Feminine, Libra Taurus Energy. I'm going to be using a different deck, tarot de main deck for each sign. So if you guys are interested in my collection, because I have a lot of decks that I haven't used on my YouTube yet. And I'm very passionate about decks here. I just cut the deck again and we've got Wheel of Fortune and Page of Cups. I don't know why I'm showing all the cards on the bottom from each time, but I felt the need to. So that's Sagittarius and Pisces energy. That is something like a change of heart here. Okay. All right. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. We've got Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. I love this Shadow of Oz deck because the stories are so explicit through the images. And we've got Death, which is, I love this. You guys are Scorpio. That's the Death card. So a lot of big transformation. Something could have ended recently. You're trying to figure out your future here. You could be feeling very anxious, okay? You maybe don't know which way to go. Um, you could be having trouble sleeping at night. You could be kind of looking at it in a negative way, but this is a really beautiful thing. It's an it's opportunity for you to like plant a new garden, have a new beginning for things to flourish in a different way, okay? Um, I just love this death card. I love that it's so bright because it's like a rebirth kind of, um, but you're anxious about it. Maybe you just don't want change. Maybe you just don't know which way to go here. Yeah, you see, you guys don't want to move forward. You want to stay where you're at. For some reason, it's comfortable. We have cancer energy here. You're pulling the reins back. This could also be someone you're dealing with who's anxious and they don't want to move forward or you feel like they don't. And we have five of pentacles. So I feel it has something to do with something from the past. So the energy I'm get, getting also is the person you're dealing with, you could feel like they're moving forward without you or um, they're moving forward in other ways. But I actually think whoever you're dealing with, they're not really, they may be seeming like they're looking ahead, but they actually have a lot of pain from the past that's still weighing them down. So they do these kind of things to make it seem like they're moving ahead, but they're really not. They're actually still really distraught over like abandonment here and their losses could be financial loss. It could be just loss of something that was really important to them you see we have the empress again i just pulled it again libra taurus energy so i feel like this is about you guys staying confident in yourself and um, figuring out what it is that makes you happy you see this picture in the empress card with the flowers there's definitely something about flowers and like a new garden here i'm, I'm getting this energy of like really letting go of the past and letting new things flourish that's a beautiful energy all right, so let's get more into what else do you guys need to know? I'm going to use, um, I'm being called to use this believe in your own magic because of that empress energy coming through, okay? So I love this deck. It's very empowering. Let's see. What do you guys need to know here? Oh my God, you guys, look, the bottom card is the flower. Release your guilt, Clover. I can't believe it, number 21. So that could be part of why you're staying stuck in the past is you feel like you did something wrong or you feel like there's guilt about how you handled it. But trust that however things played out is exactly how they were supposed to, okay? We have Feather, think before you judge, okay? So this could be you or the other person, but this is talking about being light about things, not being so heavy, not being in that death energy where you're just seeing it in such a heavy, critical way, okay? Um, this could also be someone you feel like judged you, and then we have Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. See, but every rose has its thorns, and it's, so it's like, um, maybe you're expecting this garden to be perfect, all these flowers, but remember, there's always going to be these elements, but it's also what you focus on, okay? And then we have Phoenix. This is such a Scorpio card. How's that for a happily ever after? I feel like you guys are going to end up in a situation where you're going to surprise yourself with 
how amazing things turned out, okay? So don't get too caught up on, you know, I get a lot of comments from people like, I've been alone for so long, it's gonna, don't look at your past and define your current moment and your future by it. Don't feel captive by the narratives of your past. Know that things can change at any time, okay? We have 9, 26, and 14 here. All right, so I'm gonna use this, um, the Ask the Oracle from Rising Sun Oracle. What do we need to know for Scorpios? What message wants to come through here for you guys? Okay, the answer to your question is no. I feel like this is saying don't go back to the past. Start a new beginning. Don't hold back either. Challenges, set them and achieve them, okay? So believe in your goals, believe in where you're moving towards. Am I a good partner? See, that's that guilt again. So I feel like you're asking these questions of like, was it my fault? And the answer is no. That's the, start the day with a positive state. See, that's what I'm saying. Believe in yourself. Don't beat yourself up for anything in the past and pay attention to the signs. I feel like you guys have been getting signs, but you're not trusting them. You're beating yourselves up for some reason. Okay. We're going to go into the dating scene oracle from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. Let's see what else wants to come through here for you guys. Whatever's holding you down or whatever's making you feel bad, that the question is no. Like, let that go, okay? Privacy, please. Keeping your private life. Okay, so I feel with this is that you don't need to tell anyone your plans. You don't need to tell anyone about what's going on. This is such Scorpio energy as well. Um, you don't owe anyone anything. And you don't need to feel like others know anything about you. They may be making judgments, but if... They might not even know the story, okay? So I feel like you're feeling like they don't even get it, okay? And it's fine. They don't need to get it. Then we have Daredevil. The sky's the limit. Constantly craving new adventures. That's what I'm saying. This is like taking risks. What do you say to taking chance? Dreamy, like a fairy tale magical... Okay, so this could be, you know, possibly the connection that you have with someone where you're kind of like dreamy. This person's like maybe a fire sign I'm getting. Let's meet for coffee. Not ready for anything too serious, okay? So this is saying like go outside of your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be like you're getting married, okay? And you don't have to share everything about your past with this person. Just believe in new possibilities and take chances, okay? And you never know where things are going to lead. Let's get a couple more cards here. Philanthropist, generous and caring, okay? So this could be someone in your life already that does care or um, someone could be coming to mind for you guys that does a lot of philanthropist stuff or this could be you, okay? All right, we're going to see what your person wants to communicate to you. Oh, and then on the bottom, we have love struck, divine, fem divine masculine. So you guys could have someone who's very love struck with you right now that you don't even realize. All right. So what does your person, Scorpio, want to say to you? This is from the Hidden Truth Oracle Volume 2 from All Things Intuitive. What does Scorpio's person want to communicate to you? You inspire me. I feel the sexual tension. Okay, wow. So someone is really drawn to you. Someone feels like uh, beyond just like a platonic thing with you. I can't reach out. Okay, so they might have some other things in their life that reaching out to you wouldn't be like appropriate. All right. Will you ever make things right? Okay, that could be you wondering that. Or they, you know, this is you questioning, is there any way I can make this right? Or them, okay? That guilt could be, on their side too. So I feel like, you know, there's this feeling like it didn't go the way it should have gone and someone needs to make it right. But sometimes it's not anyone's fault. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? All right. So these are kind of like affirmations to help you. What is, what could help Scorpio right now? What could help you guys? Or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, what are some positive statements here? I hold purity in high esteem, okay? So this is giving things a chance to just kind of like um, have no judgment, okay? Just see everything as pure. Know that you were doing your best at any time and they were doing their best and you're seeing things through this innocent lens. That's the words that I keep getting is like innocent and guilt here. I keep my own counsel and we have that privacy thing, okay? Like I said, I'm definitely getting this message here that you don't need to explain yourself 
to anybody and nobody needs to know like your whole story or what what your innermost thoughts and feelings are on everything okay this is about boundaries and knowing that you're worthy of keeping and setting those boundaries i speak with good intent okay as long as your side of the street is clean and you're doing everything from the highest good and you're trying your best you have nothing to feel bad about this could also be things that this person you're dealing with is struggling with like um, making the right decisions, um, saying the right things, purifying their energy, okay? So if that resonates with you, then just know that this person, their higher self is trying their best. It may not look like it, but they are trying to be a better version than maybe they were with you in the past. All right, Scorpio, so that's your reading. I hope it resonates. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.